After years of effort, now we have been able to convince a large public sector bank to accept agriculture land as a collateral for an education loan. Engineering and management courses at undergraduate and postgraduate level in India and abroad are eligible under this product. To qualify for this agriculture land education loan product, the minimum basic criteria is that Hello all, this is Damini, co-founder of VMAX Scholars and I welcome you to the 42nd episode of our web series Loanflix Season 2. So till date we had to say no for an education loan to at least 5000 students because they had only agriculture land to offer as a collateral. And most of these students were coming from farmers family where you know they didn't even had proper IPRs or any other income proof to show. That's why even private banks and NBFCs were not willing to offer them an education loan. So the only way for these students to get an education loan and fulfill their foreign education dream and upgrade their family's living standard was if any bank accept agricultural land as a collateral foreign education loan. So it wasn't easy for us to say no to so many students because they come to us with a hope. But after years of effort, now we have been able to convince a large public sector bank to accept agriculture land as a collateral for an education loan. So we are very happy to share this good news with you on this day of Sankranti or Pongal when the whole country is celebrating the harvest festival with the farmers community. So in this video, I'll tell you what are the eligibility criteria and terms of this new education loan product, uh, which is, you know, considering agriculture land as a collateral. And you also need to know that most of these state laws restrict mortgaging agriculture land. So in this video, I'll also go to the state laws of each state one by one to explain you what are the restrictions in putting agriculture land as a collateral. So let's start this video. But before that, for those of you who are new to my channel, let me tell you Loanflix is a web series which covers each and every detail of an education loan, right from the eligibility process, disbursement, repayment, everything. And Loanflix is an initiative of VMAX Scholars. VMAX Scholars is an organization which is funded and supported by the Ministry of IT, Government of India. And its sole purpose is to help students like you get funds for your higher education. And let me make it very clear, all the services of VMAX Scholars are completely free of cost. So you can reach out to our team for any help without any second thoughts. So I'm leaving the link in the description to get in touch with us. Let's start. So to qualify for this agriculture land education loan product, the minimum basic criteria is that more than 50% income of your parents or spouse should come from agriculture or related activities. So which means this product is designed primarily for families whose major source of income is agriculture and they do not own any non-agricultural properties. So now to prove the same to the bank, you will need a certificate from Tehsildar, which shouldn't be more than 18 months old. And the bank will also check the land holding records to ensure that you genuinely belong to the farmers community. And please note that the parent or spouse shouldn't have a bad credit history in the past, like a loan default or NPA, etc. Engineering and management courses at undergraduate and postgraduate level, medical courses like MBBS, BDS, BMS, BHMS in India and abroad are eligible under this product. The ranking and credibility of the institution is also important. Uh, so to know your eligibility, you must talk to your financial officer at VMAX Scholars. If you haven't been assigned a financial officer yet, you can request a call back using the link mentioned above. Now, one more important point to note here is that the last qualification which you have had, you should have scored minimum 60% in that to be eligible for this product. The maximum loan amount in this scheme is 15 lakhs for studies in India and 30 lakhs for abroad studies. And you can take loan for all your expenses, including your tuition fees, living expenses, hostel fees, etc. The interest rate for this product, like other education loan products, changes with the bank's repo rate. But as of today, the interest rate for females is 10.65% and for males, it is 11.15%. 
uh, you should uh, talk to your Vmax College financial officer to know the latest interest rate when you want to start the process. And again, if you haven't been assigned a financial officer yet, you can request a call back using the link mentioned above and you will get a financial officer assigned to you. One more important point to note here is that in this product, you will also get a moratorium period of course duration plus one year. And in this time period, you need not pay EMI, you need not pay even the interest portion. So that's all about our new education loan product, which can accept agricultural land as a collateral helping the farming community, which we were not able to do until now. But as I mentioned at the start of this video, every state has different laws and some state governments do not allow mortgaging agricultural lands, even though banks are ready to accept it under this product. And other states allow it, but with certain restrictions. So they allow it for certain communities and not for others, right? So uh, I did a lot of research, uh, you know, into state laws of agricultural lands as part of my research while designing this new product. Um, so I definitely wanted to discuss it with you, but it will take at least 10 to 15 minutes extra. So I decided to make it a next video as a continuation to this one, explaining all the state laws uh, so that you know you can get clarity whether your agricultural land is acceptable as a collateral or not. So do watch that video. It will be published in like you know two to three days. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments below. And if you're from the farming community, I hope this video could make your festival Sankranti or Pongal even more festive. And if you appreciate the effort we put into doing all this research and bringing this video and this information out to you, then please subscribe to our channel. And if you want to talk to VMAX Scholars team regarding your education loan, and if you want help with the entire process, you can request a call back using the link mentioned above. And please note that all our services are completely free of cost. So we will assign you a financial officer who will help you and handhold you in the entire process. So do request a call back. That's it for this video. Stay tuned. See you in my next video soon.